Hi guys and welcome back to Simple Cooking with me, Robert Kelly. Today we have an incredible treat for you. A beautiful chocolate brownie. This is so simple to make and that's what this channel is all about. So please stick around, check it out. This is one you're not going to want to miss. So guys, today we are making a beautiful chocolate brownie. So first of all, we're going to want to melt our chocolate and butter in a bambouri. So I'm going to bring you guys over to the cooker and show you how to do it. So this is what we call a bambouri. So basically it's just a pot of boiling water and get a steel or a Pyrex dish. So first we're just going to get our butter in, all the butter in together and the chocolate straight in on top. So all we're going to do is every half minute or so, we're just going to give it a little stir. We really want these to combine very well together. So my bowl's been on it for a minute or so, so it already is starting to melt. Um, so you just want to keep an eye on that. But while that's melting, we're going to go back over and we're going to get our sugar and eggs mixing. So now in our mixer, we're going to combine our soft brown sugar with our eggs. The whole lot in together like I said these recipes are so simple and you can add in a tablespoon of vanilla which is optional then we're going to get our whisk I want to slightly beat this It'd be help if I had power wouldn't it now yeah, we'll try that again there we go so we're going to whisk this now till it's nice and fluffy gradually pick up the speed so while that's mixing, we'll go back over and check on our chocolate. So as you can see, our chocolate and butter is coming nicely together. Let's give it a quick stir, then leave it alone to let it do its thing. Now we go back and check on our sugar. So now you can see our sugar is starting to get nice and fluffy. We're just going to let that mix now for maybe another 30 seconds. So now our chocolate and butter has completely melted together. We're going to get that off the heat because we're going to combine it with our eggs, uh, our egg mix. So we we'll just want that to cool down just a little bit so we'll get it off the heat now. So now we have our chocolate off the heat. Our eggs are nice and fluffy. We're going to turn that off now. And now we're going to combine the chocolate and egg mix together. We're going to use a technique called folding. So we're going to add a ch little bit of chocolate at a time. We're just going to gently fold the mix together. And then we're going to add our flour at the end. And the exact same thing, we're going to gradually fold it together. And then that's it. It's ready to go into the oven. Um, so while we're doing that, we're going to preheat our oven to uh, 160 degrees. That's a fan oven. And we're going to cook it for about 28 to 30 minutes. We'll just check it at the 28 minute mark. See how the sponge is in the middle of the uh, brownie. And if it's ready to come out, we take it out. If not, we give it another few minutes. So let's get these mixes put together. So now we're just going to gradually fold our chocolate into our egg and sugar mix. So a little at a time. Just fold it together. You can see how fluffy that mix is. Now when you start folding this together, it will that fluffy texture will break down a little bit but don't worry about that just don't over beat this in that's your only thing here now so you gradually do it a little bit at a time uh, there's no rush on it it's a very simple recipe so there's no need to panic and rush around the place Now both our mixtures are folded together. We still have that light airy mix. We have to knock too much of the air out, which is fantastic. So now it's time to sieve in our flour. So we're gonna sieve in half the flour at a time. I had a little over half in that one. So now the same thing again, just slowly fold it in together. The reason we're doing this, um, the flour in halves, is see these clumps, even though we've sieved it, they still kind of bind together a little bit. So we don't want any lumps of flour in our mixture um, because it won't bake. So when you cut into it, all you're just gonna have is a big lump of flour in the middle of it. So always sieve your flour into any of your baking and uh, 
never really do it all together do it in stages and then just see there you can see one piece of flour that's what I, that's what we don't want and um, because that won't bake through so we give it another little mix and then we get the rest of our flour in and do the same thing again So now that we have all our ingredients uh, folded together, it's time to get it into our baking tray. So I've lined the baking tray here with uh, parchment paper. Um, so we're going to get that, our mix into that and into the oven. So now that's been 28 minutes for our brownie. It is nice and soft, nice little crust on top, but still a little bounce inside. So that's it there. So we're gonna let this cool down now uh, for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we're gonna take it out of the tray, cut it up, and I can't wait to try it. So stick around. So now our brownie has been resting for about 35 minutes. It's still warm to the touch. So now we have to try and get it out of this tray. So bear with me, we'll try and do this uh, very quickly so it doesn't fall apart. So with a clean towel, I'm going to put it on top, turn it over, Whoppa! and it falls out. Perfecto, I hope. So that's our chocolate brownie. So I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. We're going to cut this up. Or we're definitely going to try it. So let's get a nice big chunk. So that's our chocolate brownie. It looks like it's missing something. I think I just have the perfect thing to top this off. Are you ready for this? Just look at that. Absolute heaven. So now, that we've made our chocolate brownie even more divine. It's time for my favorite part of all these videos. Me getting to try this, but I cannot wait. Loads of chocolate sauce. Oh, look at it dripping off. Oh, we've done it again. We have done it again. Oh God, that is beautiful. I won't take such a big chunk this time. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's actually no words. Just, you know what? Try it, try it for yourself. Such a simple, simple recipe with such a fantastic, fantastic beautiful result so please if you've made it this far please hit that sub button please hit that like button and share this beautiful treat with all your family and friends till next time i'm robert kelly slog <laughs>